Welcome to the Night Club, guys. It's your host, the Night Wrencher. Today we're looking at the Daytona Sensor Smart Spark LS. I've had this unit for the better part of two years, and I thought I'd give a review on my experience that I've had with this unit. For people that have been following me for the last two years, people will know that the motor that used to be on my truck was a 5.3 liter naturally aspirated carbureted LS. I used to drive this truck over rocks, through the mountains, in the snow. This was always my go anywhere, do anything truck, and I never had any kind of issues electronically. Eventually I got tired of the 5.3 and I gave that engine to my brother. We later put that in a boat running the same Smart Spark LS ignition system, and that boat ran the entire summer exactly the way it was when it was in my truck. That's how it ran in the boat, and I had no problems there. Once it was time to go to the no-name nationals, I built a new engine for my truck. This was a 4.8 liter. I set that one up with larger ring gaps so I can put a turbocharger on that and I wouldn't have any issues. The bottom end is 100% stock except for the cam, and the top end is 100% stock except for the valve springs. I've been using the same carbureted intake manifold for the last four years, and I built myself a blow-through demon carburetor. Maybe I'll make a video on that in the near future. After I had the 4.8 together, I went out to do a dyno where I dropped the valve due to worn out valve train. And when I put that back together, the turbocharger went on. And now I'm running a 7875 eBay turbocharger through my 650 Demon blow through carburetor. I drove out from California to Missouri to race in the no name nationals where I made six runs basically back to back with zero tuning adjustments in between each round. And since I got back from the no name nationals, I've been daily driving this truck basically non stop. Every time I've ever made a significant change to the engine, and I've always gone in and changed up the timing table a little bit. For example, right now I have it set up that after 3,500 RPMs, timing drops to 14 degrees, and that's so I can run a safe amount of boost out on the street without having to worry about anything. I have a separate video on the actual tuning aspects of this box. This video is really to let you guys know that after two years in, I've had no problems. The box has been sitting in my glove box for the last two years almost, except for the time that it was in my brother's boat. If you guys are thinking about going carbureted LS, even if you plan to go turbocharged, I, I would not think twice about getting the Smart Spark LS. It has been a bulletproof system and I would recommend it 100%. So that's about it. I will see you guys all in the next one. Night Wrencher out.